Good morning, everybody. So we've survived the night. We did have a very wet, wet night. It absolutely hammered it down um, a couple of times in the night, but the tent survived. We were all nice and dry this morning, obviously with a little bit of condensation, but um, you know, we can't get away from, from that in a tent. But yeah, we survived, we were all nice and cosy. And we were woken by a chorus of birds singing, chirping, <laughs> squawking, woodpecker right next to us in an old, um, an old sort of like rotten tree. He was absolutely going for it. He was so, so loud. Yeah, and we've had cows in the field next to us, so the cows have been quite vocal this morning as well and as you can see the sun is shining again now now we don't think that we're going to have a fully dry um, day there is rain forecast but how much don't know might just be a few showers uh, so I think we're going to hopefully go and explore around the area so we've got all this area here that we can look at. And we've got the Staverton uh, Fix that are over that way, Rendlesham Forest over that way. Um, so yeah, and we are now the only one on this campsite. We had one other person that was here when we came. They've now left. I'm still here, Heidi hi. Heidi hi. Who do you? So, yeah, look, we've got the field to ourselves. And I think this could possibly be the tree here that the woodpecker was really, really going for this morning. Yes. Oh, in that one, apparently he was, was in this one here. Uh, yeah. So you can see we've got Got a few dodgy clouds. Um, it's quite windy, so hopefully the wind will just blow whatever showers we have today. Hopefully the wind will just blow them, blow them over. But so all in all, still loving it. Still glad we came. Really pleased with this site. And okay, right, we will decide what we're going to do now, and see you again soon. Oh, we're now heading out on, on a walk, hopefully into Staverton Thicks. We're busy going nowhere, <laughs> nothing else to do. Jenny's got me lost and I don't know what to do. <laughs> ah, yeah, some pretty old looking trees that we're coming up to now. She did say that you can't actually get into the thicks because I think that the trees probably protected with them being the oldest. Yeah, the oldest in the UK, over 700 years, years old. Oldest trees in the UK. Amazing. We're just following this sandy track that's taken us away from the campsite alongside the six. We've got fields as far as the eye can see to the left and then the forest of these grand old trees to the right of us. And we've still got beautiful sunshine at the moment. I did say this morning that I don't think we're going to be free from showers today, but at the moment it is a beautiful day. Look at this one here. See all like faces in these trunks. Probably be a scary 
path to take in the dark. So Robert now said that the trees, they look like the, the scene in Harry Potter with the spiders. which I think that they have been referenced to that by other people. There's just so many of them. Just seen the first way marker. So we know we're not trespassing. <laughs> we are on a proper path now. Look at that. home for lots of bugs and insects. Food for the birds. But as you can see, this tree, although it's hollow in the middle, it is still living. So we're just winding our way through this, this um, woodland now and get to a lot more of the, the trees here. Yes. Find something in this one that's really really quite scary. Could it be? Could it be a tree nymph? A fairy? <laughs> a goblin? A gnome? A little dwarf? An orc? <gasps> Could be an orc. look like serpents coming out of the undergrowth. I do like to imagine these woodlands coming alive. Why wouldn't they? <laughs> Very nobly characteristic old tree. A little hole and then they're starting to form. Loving this.
twists and turns on this one. All those lovely markings. Some more of it here. It's beautiful. Oh my. <laughs> Ooh. Hello. <laughs> oh, I'd love a tree like this in my garden. For them, what are they called? Tree goddess. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's it quite well. Tree goddess. So here I am in one of the oldest trees in in the UK. I feel I actually feel like um <gasps> magic faraway tree, Enid Brighton. One of my favourite childhood books. So you've got a nice little, little window there. I can really picture and imagine all the characters from one of those, those books. I think I could say I'm in one of my happy places, in a tree in the middle of a woodland, on holiday. Oh, signs of owls. We've got a little owl pallet here. So all the tiny little, little bones. We've left the, the thick now, and we're just following a path, a route, that we think will circle round back to the, to the campsite. Um, yeah, so the thick was absolutely brilliant, loved that. So just in the distance there, that's the, the fix that we've just walked, walked through. And we're now coming up to the car park to Rendlesham Forest. We stopped off at Butley Corner. Don't think I had my mic on when I was um, talking about that, but it's a car park picnic area in Mellisham Forest. So we stopped off there to have a snack and a drink. And then it started raining, so I couldn't do any videoing through this lovely woodland that we have just walked through. The colours, beautiful. Um, past all the peaks. But it was really lovely for us to walk through. But rain has now, now stopped again, hopefully. And we are still following the route back to 
the campsite. in the sun and we've finished in the sun. Are we still the only one on the campsite? Looks like it. Yes! <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to be your friend or... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so people must have heard that we're not very sociable. <laughs> yeah, we are. Just don't like big... big crowds. I'm sociable, she's not. <laughs> I'm sociable with you guys. <laughs> Well, here we are, back at the tent. That was well worth doing, that walk. So a nice circular walk from, from the campsite into the Thicks and then coming out onto Rendlesham Forest, popping into Buckley Corner and then just following a lovely pathway through Rendlesham Forest. Unfortunately, that was when it started to rain quite heavy, uh, so didn't really get any footage of that, but it was just lovely just to take in the, the views and the colours. The colours were gorgeous. Uh, we had some really moody pigs on one side, quite grumpy. Um, and then there was Robert. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we did get, we did get a real proper proper downpour but finished the walk back in in the sunshine so we started in the sunshine and we finished in the sunshine so can't ask for more than that and we're now going to just chill here at the at the campsite we're still on the field by ourselves um so yeah we're just gonna sit and enjoy and see what the rest of the day pans out like you can see there are some more rain clouds coming in so i don't think we're going to escape getting some more more rain but but it's still really mild so that's one thing okay so for now goodbye